The family of Abubakar Sadiq Law, one of the terror suspects, arrested claims that the statement made by police were baseless and was just a public relations strategy. This came as a complete shock to not just the family and friends, to the entire neighborhood and anybody who has ever known him, even for just one week. Inspector General of Police had earlier on Saturday morning issued a statement to the media claiming that the police had arrested two suspects who were planning to stage attacks in Kenya. The mission of that ring was to mount terror attacks in this city, not only targeting Western interests, but targeting our people as well. Sadiq daughter's Noshin Law denied her father's involvement with terrorism, saying he was being victimized. We are baffled because when they say that he was trained there, he was there for less than a week for each visit. How are you training somebody to be a spy within a week? It beats, it beats all logic. That is first. Secondly, Mze has been very, very vocal in terrorism being an evil to both Muslims, Christians, in fact to everybody. She said the police had been interrogating the family and even told the family on Thursday, a day before Police Inspector General Boymet made the statement that he would be released as investigation should he had no connection with any criminal activities. The police IG had claimed that the two Abu Bakr of 69 years old and Yasin Samba Juma of 25 years old were conspiring to mount terror attacks against Western targets in Kenya. The family lawyer intends to mount a challenge. If you arrest suspects, let us be professional. Let us not be scaremongers. Let us not be alarmists. Let us gather our facts present them before the court and let the accused, the suspects, get a fair trial. Police Inspector Joseph Boynet said the two have admitted to planning to stage attacks on hotels in Nairobi, frequently used by tourists, businessmen and diplomats. Police are also now on the lookout for a British citizen, Malik Yassin, a suspected Al-Shabaab foreign fighter suspected of planning attacks on Kenyan soil. The families of the suspect have accused the National Police Service of using the media to condemn their kin without following a judicial process. All eyes now set in court to see whether the magistrate will grant them bail. Steve Juma, NTV, Nairobi.